Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I want to show you uh, quickly, uh, I think that's still going, um, how, well not how, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cover how, but um, uh, I, I'm, an, I'm not a hacker myself, I'm not a, well, my job is computer stuff, but I had a problem with Jax, and I did a video about restoring Jax uh, via time machine, and uh uh, that worked for me, but that didn't work for another person. And uh, so I got looking into it. And there's this other way. You can actually extract the 12-word wallet uh, from the file. Uh, the 12-word wallet uh, mnemonic from uh, one of the files in the directories. So I actually went to this website. This is VX Labs. I'll put it in the description. And basically, I followed it. Basically, it involves... Um, let me go down here. It involves finding uh, the file location. This is for Mac OS. This is the exact file that I found. And I've got my file here in my public folder. And uh, so I put it there. You got to install SQL Lite. You got to install Node, um, which is a Chrome plugin uh, to run JavaScript. And then you need uh, Crypto, what is it called? Crypto.js. And uh, you simply install Crypto.js by running this npm install Crypto.js. And this is an, uh, it's a package manager for a Node which downloads and installs it um, and then you basically take the script right off the right off the website here so first it uh, tells you to um, do a select uh, from your file to find the mnemonic now if you look in the file um, I was actually able to find mnemonic uh, the word in there um, and uh, interestingly I, and it I was trying to get it to um, I was trying to get it to work for me in terms of uh, encrypting. You can see I've just, in this file, I've got, uh, you see the word mnemonic here, and I basically took uh, this section here. This is the, the bogus code that is on the website that you see there, uh, but that's where it is, and it ends with an equal sign. Uh, usually these uh, base64 encrypted strings end with an equal sign, usually. Not always, but anyways, this you can find this for yourself, but this is what the SQL Lite is doing. It's basically finding this value uh, for you within that and that's what I was actually able to uh, confirm. And uh, so the next thing you got to do is then uh, take this uh, this script here and you basically save it to a file. So I just saved it to um, a js.js file and I saved it in my public folder. All this, this is straight off the website. Um, save it to my public folder. Here it is, my js.js. And then you got to actually execute that. So executing it uh, then is done. Uh, here and you just by by node space js dot js so node space file name and you can see I've already done it so I've run the file name and it actually decrypts it so and I tried this on my own uh, my own <clears throat> uh, local storage file as well for my local install of Jax and it actually uh, does work so you can actually de decrypt your 12 word mnemonic for your wallet to restore it this is aside uh, from uh, you know trying to restore it from time machine now if you look at this snake purity emerge blue you'll uh, we can confirm that it indeed uh, is the uh, 12 word mnemonic that he had there snake purity emerge blue subway lab loyal timber yada yada federal work and that is exactly uh, what we have showing here so it successfully decrypted um, the jacks wallet so now what you do is you go into Jack's wallet. I'm not going to do it, but you go into Jack's wallet, and then you restore uh, or pair your wallet, and then it gives you an option to enter your 12-word mnemonic. And so, I, I totally copied this this site. Uh, you know, downloaded SQL Lite, found my uh, my encryption key, confirmed that this actually works. There are issues. You have to have the right versions of the files, otherwise you get the UT uh, what the what is it, the uh, <clears throat> UTF-8 issue. Uh, so you don't you do get that, um, and you got to be very careful, obviously, with the mnemonic you're pacing. But suffice it to say, this actually worked for me. It does work. Um, uh, thankfully, my time machine restore actually did the original fix for me. But I am fully able to do this. And now uh, someone reached out for me for my last video to help, and I couldn't help him with the time machine. I tried to help him, uh, it didn't work. But uh, uh, I decided to look into this and see if I could get this going. So. Um, I'll probably try this for him next, and then of course he'll have to uh, switch his um, wallet, get a new address basically, because 
I will have then the uh, the private key effectively uh, to take over his wallet. But um, just uh, just to say it, it does work. I tried it myself. I confirmed it working. You can see it working here uh, where I'm, I'm running the JavaScript that he provided, decrypting it. I'm not going to show you my own. I'm not going to go through the procedures to show you my own, obviously, because that would be dangerous. But it definitely works. Um, interesting stuff on Mac. Um, I wouldn't call this hacking really I actually did learn hacking in college when I was in college for uh, information technology um, but this isn't really really hacking this is just decrypting stuff um, because the jacks encryption isn't particularly awesome uh, but you know as long as you keep your your, your computer fairly secure it, it's fine so anyways if you have any trouble um, give me a shout and uh, I can certainly uh, I can certainly help you decrypt it if you uh, if you send me the file, and uh, and you and you can send me a couple of coins or a couple of fractional coins or whatever uh, for the service, and uh, I would I would appreciate that. But I can certainly help help out um, if you've lost your Jack's uh, wallet. So basically, you just need that one file, and then you need the rest of the stuff installed. You need this one file, which is from. Uh, I'll show you where it is here. Uh, so you go into your home directory, library, application support, application support, application support there, and then JAX. And then the file is just right here. That file there, that's the one you need. That's the one that has the key in it that you need to decrypt. And then you use these tools, just like it says on the website, to go ahead and do it. So definitely worked for me. And if you need any help, give me a shout. Um, I'll see if I can help you. I won't promise anything, but I'll certainly see if I can help you. And uh, a little tip uh, would certainly be appreciated. All right, I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.